Hi, this is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Western Henrico. More specifically, I'm off the Three Chop Road corridor. Today we're going to take a look at a five bedroom, three bath home. This is a corner lot. It's situated here on almost a half an acre. And we've got a nice little mix of homes here in the block. This is going to be an older home that we're looking at. Some of the homes nearby appear to be a little bit newer and if you're at all familiar with this area you know that you are close to just about everything from sushi to soccer balls if you need it it's probably within just a four or five minute drive from this location we do have a newer dimensional roof on this home so the roof should have plenty of life left on it i'm going around the side here this is kind of an unusual layout here we've got a corner lot and of course you can enter from this direction uh, this is actually technically the side of the house straight back there is a two-car detached brick garage there's also a carport and of course you got stairs here from that driveway uh, as i mentioned this is technically the front of the house that we're going in now but uh, the driveway of course is on the side okay this home is a handy woman special it needs considerable updating uh, it is probably habitable however there's a lot of things that a new buyer in this price range is definitely going to want to do and i'll point those out as we go through okay as we come in we have our family room there is a slight odor of pet in this home so upgrading the carpet uh, and changing out the pad is mandatory we do have a wood burning. Actually, that is a gas log fireplace there along with the built-ins. And most of our living is here on the first level. We've got a small formal dining room and we transition into the kitchen. Now, by today's standards, this kitchen is not what you would expect for a 3,300 square foot home. However, when they built this house, this is what they typically did. They didn't come in with large, large kitchens. There is the ability though, to maybe take out this wall or do some renovation here, open this kitchen up and just make it a nice, large eating kitchen. I think that would be a viable route as far as renovation. Got a coat closet there, a full bath here in complete need of renovation as well. Okay, our bedrooms. Uh, we fortunately have nice wood floors. They would clean up very nicely. The bedrooms are well proportioned, so we've got good, good size bedrooms. We've got a nice state-of-the-art intercom system, so you can talk to everyone in the house without yelling. Here to the left, we have bedroom number two. Now, there is carpet on this floor. However, it is not uncommon for people to actually just simply put carpet over wood floors. That's a prime example right there that this is probably wood floors underneath this floor uh, as well. Okay, we're gonna pop down into the basement. Uh, if you're familiar at all with Central Virginia, you know that finished basements are pretty rare. We don't see a whole lot of finished basements in this area. This one does have a little bit of a musty odor. The home has been closed up for a while, so there hasn't been really any renovation. However, I did see some signs, and that's one of them right there that there may be some water issues or may have been water issues in the past. Okay, we're gonna circle on around. A lot of nice entertaining space down here. Uh, we've got paneling there. That paneling is warped. Typically, that's another sign that there may be moisture issues. Okay, here to the left, we've got a three-quarter bath. And this is our utility room. We've got a electric water heater. Your washer and dryer would go straight ahead. They brought in a drop ceiling here. Makes it easy to access everything above without damaging any sheetrock if there happened to have been a leak. Okay, we're gonna, oh, out the back here, this was our carport. I showed you briefly from the side, but this gives you the ability to park right there and just walk right on in the house. Okay, we're gonna pop up to the third level. Uh, I am a semi-professional photographer. I'm going to put my website for my photography on this page, but I'm in a generous mood today. So what I'm going to do, whoever sees this on the first day, uh, the first day it comes out, um, we are going to offer a portrait, on-location portrait, whether it be an individual, a senior, 
a couple, a family, uh, individual and their dog. It really doesn't matter. Boudoir, really doesn't matter. I just don't do babies. And if you respond today with a photograph of yourself and a reason why this prize should go to you, I'm just going to simply select one and you will get a photo session on location complimentary. And uh, I'm going to do that from time to time. If you are in some type of business, offer some type of service, and would love to have some promotional consideration in exchange for something of value, let me know and we might be able to work something out. It's not unusual for these videos to get 1,500, 2,000 viewers. So that's good, good promotional exposure. And I like giving away stuff. And I also love to give people a great deal. And that's part of the motivation behind the foreclosure videos is that there are some absolutely awesome deals out here on the market and this is the most effective way for me to get them to you quickly to give you a good idea of exactly what's available in the marketplace with no holds barred as well it's hopefully we'll provide some information and give you the tools to make a good educated decision no matter what route you decide to go max williams 402-7788 i can be reached on Facebook, Richmond Area Foreclosures, and on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.